Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna make a quick video. All my videos are quick. I don't have time to to show you everything I do. Um, but today we're gonna be putting friction plates in a Ford F-150 to 2006. It's the uh, Luna slip clutches in the rear. Um, and I'm gonna show you this little tool that everybody's, there's several videos on it. Um, several different guys have showed you how to make this tool. Ford makes a tool. Um, you gotta pull the, you gotta pull the carrier out to do it with the Ford tool. Um, so here's what we got. These are side carrier gears. They sit in that rear diff like this. And you have, you have spider gears that sit at 12 and at six. And you know, it spins around. Um, when I get ready to install this, I'll make another video putting it back together. But what I'm gonna show you is this tool, you pull that center pin out of the rear diff. Uh, and you insert this tool that you make, sits in there kind of like so. Okay, you get the point. Use your two 14 millimeter wrenches and you adjust this nut right here out and you'll hold this one. This one don't turn, it's there. You, hold, you have to hold it because once you get enough pressure, the whole assembly will spin if you don't hold the one against the the head of this boat. Then you adjust this one, this nut right here out. And it, it spreads these uh, side carrier gears apart so that you can spin uh, the spider gears out. The reason why you have to do that is because on the inside of these carrier, side carrier gears, is a, uh, a wave washer. See how it's concaved? That puts pressure against these clutches. You can see. You can see how there's a gap. Well, when that is pressed flat against the inside of the carrier, that puts a lot of pressure. So that's why you're you're pressing these spider these side carrier gears in to flatten that washer, take some pressure off, so you can roll those spider the uh, spider gears out. Um, this kit I bought came from uh, Yukon. Here's the part number. Uh, it comes with new steels and uh, I've got the friction plates soaking. Um, so what you'll have is you'll have a wave, a wave plate, a steel, and a friction plate. And before you take it apart, look at what you've got. Steel, inside, friction, steel, and a friction, and you know, all the way out to the to your wave plate. When you stack that back, the only thing it don't come with, it don't come with a new wave, a wave washer. It comes with all the steels, steel plates, and the friction plates. So on the inside, on the the last two, you should have a steel, then your wave. Not a friction, no friction in between that. Um, like I said, when you set these back in, you have to put this tool back in, adjust those uh, side carrier gears in, take the pressure off so you can roll. Now that's, it, it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a job you have to use a, you know, you gotta slide the axle back in, just one axle, slide it back in, you know, use a bar, and you have to have somebody to help you. Um, Roll those spiders in. Uh, like I said, when I get ready to put it back together, I'll make another video. I'll have a part two. Um, so, you know, like, subscribe, and go watch part two.